Hi friends, welcome back to our channel Education Hub. Education Hub is such one channel which always try to give you the lectures based on computer science and IT. Generally, we are give you the important and essential lectures which will be beneficial for you. Now, before starting today's topic, once again I am telling you for the new user and the existing users, those who are get benefits from our channel, don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell to get the future notifications of all essential and important lectures. And at the end of the lecture, if it is helpful for you, then don't forget to press the like, thumb and share our videos. And before starting, once again I am telling, it will be helpful for you if you go through it thoroughly. So it's my request, don't skip it. If you skip, then you can't able to get because our all lectures are related to one another. So go through and get the full benefits from our lectures. Now start today's topic. Once again I am telling all the lectures. Today's is only introduction. Rest part will be uploaded very soon. So if you want to go through all then don't forget to subscribe our channel and obviously don't forget to press the bell to get the notification for all future lectures so let's start today's topic e-commerce or electronic commerce Now, before starting that, I have to tell you what is e-commerce. E-commerce or electronic commerce in the early of 1990s and the beginning of 2000. At that time, the e-marketing based on electronic media, every data or every business starts. And then the concept of e-commerce generated commerce or business whatever it is everything is right now today's world based on online or based on internet or electronic media there without that we cannot able to think that what the business now the business environment based on electronic media and there the concept of e-commerce comes that is the topic today's e-commerce can be defined as business online and performing transaction like buying selling a product and service over internet let's start the today's topic what is e-commerce? E-commerce consists of buying and selling product over internet or electronic technology or electronic system. It is basically, we can say that totally based on electronic media. Electronic commerce is commonly known as e-commerce or electronic e-business. There is a specific difference from e-commerce and e-business. We will discuss here that for e-commerce example, we can say Amazon.com, eBay, Flipkart. This all are very familiar with us today. Today's first live all the marketing business is based on this type of 
e-businesses or e-commerces. Now, if these are the e-commerce, then we can define e-commerce in two forms. Partial e-commerce and pure e-commerce. Before doing that, what is partial and what is e pure e-commerce, we are getting the knowledge by the name also. If it is least one digital dimension, <coughs> then the partial e-commerce exists and whereas it is fully based on electronic or digital dimension, then the pure e-commerce comes to our market now what is e-commerce if i have to know then obviously we know the meaning or the definition of e-commerce along with my lectures please follow the screen also the e-commerce is buying or selling product over internet but also various business process with an individual <coughs> organization and that support the goal. Goal to achieve globalized business. The meaning of commerce we know that is buying, selling and other operation. When it is based on electronic or digital media or electronic medias then it becomes e-commerce or electronic commerce electronic commerce is such one thing that which will we can get every time and it is the also not the cost related to the shop, the other expenses. And it is also, there is so many sites, so we can get all the related informations. And therefrom, we can also check the, our others users feedback. And it is also faster because you don't have to go to any shop by shop to collect the data or collect the things. Then you have to purchase. That is not. So in this way, definitely e-commerce is more important and beneficial. So what is e-commerce? Meaning of e-commerce and the definition, I think it is right now clear to you. Now, after this, before starting the other part of discussion related to e-commerce, I want to tell you that the e-commerce is nothing but the electronic data or electronic system best commerce so for that purpose you can say whenever it is based on internet so it is globalized now electronic electronic commerce or e-commerce is not only for an individual organization it supports the goal. It supports the total globalization. So it will be helpful for every corner of the organization. Now, the electronic data interchange and electronic fund transfer, these two terms are very essential for our e-commerce. This electronic data interchange or EDI what is that and what is electronic fund transfer that two terms you have to get electronic 
data interchange by the name you can able to get the data interchanging or data from one organization or within the organization based on electronic media if it is transferred then it will be known as electronic data with an organization with an extended organization or from other organization to other organization if the data is exchanged or interchange via electronic media then it will termed as edi edi is the structured transmission of data between organization by electronic means it is used to transfer electronic documents or business data from one to another computer system whereas eft that is the electronic fund transfer means the electronic exchange or transfer of money from one account to another account from the pictorial view you can able to see here the edi system how it is based on see the documents are there now the documents is interchange from one node to another business application node basically eft also the same thing when based on electronics electronic media the account to account the fund is transferred now for that purpose they are also at first edi will come then only the terms eft will come because after data exchange obviously the fund exchange concept will come now this two from the pictorial view it is based on the edi you can check it for eft before that all discussion we should know what is the characteristics of e-commerce or electronic commerce which tools are applicable for the electronic purposes these all are necessary for this application e-commerce the commerce is not according to the decision support or any initially focused function that means in case of the electronic commerce these are just at that moment function focus is not possible we have to think about the future and then you have to grow it at that moment you may get any benefits or not but in a continuous process what you can able to get or uh, you have to focus on that here the commerce is externally focused on those who whom you business that is the thing externally focused already i discussed that whatever you will do that focus will be in future you can able to get the benefits just at that moment focused is not possible commerce is doing business not reporting on sending message about it here also in case of electronic business they are not make obviously a customer and customer service or customer relationship should be there a goodwill is there but not by sending messages by sending the product sending the on time businesses make you the improvement in electronic commerce so e-commerce characteristics is being specified by using based on the tools suppose in case of any e-business there are some apps by using some browser you can able to get 
that businesses is affordable and reasonable price we can able to get how because their margin is lesser because they are not focusing on that moment function they are focusing on the external functions and that is not by sending the messages by sending the proper thing timing maintaining and goodwill will increase by the product not by the messages these are the basic characteristics of e-commerce because in e-commerce where from the business starts who are in behind that you don't know them you know only the product now the terms e-business and e-commerce are the same from the pictorial view you can able to get follow the pictorial view and with my lectures you can able to get it see in case of business what we are telling in case of business we are telling that it is totally a purchase sell related issues whereas in case of e-commerce we are not telling that it is any purchase or any sell it is there along with the marketing along with the product supervising along with product servicing so e business involving the business performance through the low cost and open connectivity whereas in case of e-commerce this take the marketing selling buying of product and servicing based on internet so from the pictorial view on the screen if you follow you can able to get see this is the e business the oval area that means the overall business whereas e commerce is the part of e business so e commerce and e business basically they are very similar but not the same all the e business based on e commerce not that but all the e commerce is based on obviously the basic concept of e business follow the screen you can able to get it better also now different types of e commerce electronic business models are generally categorized based on their functionalities and their operating modes the classification is business to business b2b business to consumer b2c business to administration b2a consumer to consumer c to c consumer to business c to b b to g that is business to government business to business government to business g to b and government to citizen g to c these all types will be discussed in our next lecture here i only mention the categorization or the name of the categories now all this category how can they work what's the benefit of each and every one we will discuss it in our next lesson next lecture before that this categorization or the types of e-commerce all are make the business make the our make all the businesses more and more beneficial or helpful for everyone that's why they are categorized now before going in detail other part 
I have to tell you in our next lecture, it elaboration will be there and you have to go through that. So before that, let's see what is mobile commerce or m-commerce. M-commerce or mobile commerce is buying and selling goods, services through the wireless technology. Here in case of the mobile commerce or m-commerce, the personal digital assistant or PDA is also take a part. That means in case of your cellular phone, you are chain try to get your business. So this part is also depend on your personal motto or personal decision. Now the content delivery over wireless devices become more faster, more secure and more secular. Why? This scalability or secularism or the belief of m-commerce will be more more valid why because it is not only based on anywhere it is not only based on any time their availability so anytime any area from anywhere you can do it Here, the industries also affected by the M-commerce. What way they are affected? These points are financial services, telecommunications, service and retail, information services. How? This include all the mobile banking or M-banking. It's a factor financial services where from this wireless media the bill payment or the service charges or the account review is conducted by the telecommunication now the service and retail also consumers can able to get given ability to place and pay for order of on the fly and the information services also depend on the delivery of the financial news also the sports figures the traffic updates and single mobile devices is responsible for all this along with my lecture please go through the screen also you can able to get there are also all the benefits. Now, after all this discussion, once again I have to tell you what are the advantages of e-commerce. The advantages of e-commerce is showing that obviously if it is electronic based, then any time you can sell or purchase, any time you can make it so it is more faster if you think about any purchases then you have to wait whenever you will go to market then you can purchase instead of that from a browser from a your know, m mobile anywhere you just browse and select you can get it so it will be more faster low operational cost because there the shop or showroom booking, they are maintaining all the persons for that maintaining. You don't have to buy or you have to don't have to occupy this all cost. So it is more lower cost. Here also, no physical company setup is needed, and easy to start and manage the business because here don't you need so much showroom booking or any other so you don't have to give that type of business or investment there anytime 
if you can manage then you can start the business and the physical setup you don't need so it is more and more maintaining the cost as well as more easier the customer also get easily because it is based on electronic so any time customer can also get all the different products and providers they don't have to move physically from here and there so it is all are the benefits of e-commerce or electronic commerce i think what is e-commerce right now little bit you can able to get it is our e-commerce first lecture so i am giving you that much now the disadvantages there is no guarantee of the product quality because you are not getting it physically so you have to based on some pictorial view or based on some electronic media view you have to trust so there is a problem there are many hackers who look for the opportunity and e-commerce sites and services payment gateways are always prone to attack the genuinity is not you can able to get here is a score for your detail or the um, other customers review you can able to get it but there also you have to based on some trust is there but if this trust is trust worthy or not the trust over the body is there or not or some hackers is there or not the gateway of money what you are transferring it is going there directly or not that you may face the problem these are the basic disadvantages of e-commerce otherwise e-commerce is okay but the trustworthiness the product quality and is there any hackers is there or not these all are the many many questions for today's e-commerce that means the security issues is a big questions now let's discuss about some example of e-commerce we are at the end of this today's lecture only because today i am giving you only a introduction now the elaborate discussion and elaborate all this so that different types we will discuss in our next lecture here are the some examples is given here an individual purchase book on internet some government employee reserves a hotel room over internet business buys office supplies online the manufacturer plants order electronic components from one plant within the company using company's intranet the concept of intranet and extranet is coming in our next lecture so at the end i am telling if this lecture is helpful for you then like it share this video and obviously don't forget to get all the, our lectures for that purpose subscribe our channel it is always help you so subscribe our channel press the bell to get the all future lectures notification and if you like it then if it is beneficial for you then don't forget to like up to this level you support us so at the end thank you for listening this lecture so once again i am telling in form of our educational hub thank you for listening this lecture